Hey everybody, so today I'm going to make a pretty card with a matching envelope and it's using this brand new little mini collection from Creative Craft Products. So if I've got any collections with a die focus, I try to share those on a Tuesday and a Thursday so that people know that those tutorials will use dies, whereas my other tutorials on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday, they're more fun folds or just 3D makes and you can use whatever you have in your stash. So this one is the A2 Essentials Collection. So for all you A2 fans and people that like to get two cards from one sheet of your letter size paper, which is eight and a half by 11, then this is gonna be the collection for you. So it's got this gorgeous envelope. I think this is for me the main, this is the hero piece, I think, for this collection. So you've got this lovely envelope die and you have all these mats and layers and little embellishments there to decorate. And like I said, I'm gonna be doing that shortly. These are the two main card die sets you've got your a2 landscape and your a2 portrait and then you've got a mix of mats and layers there in different shapes and also on that one there and you've got your main mats and layers as well and then i love the stamp set this is another great one for me you've got this one i really love hoping you always have a reason to smile you are always on my mind celebrate in your own special way send in a bucket full of kisses hoping your day is filled with love laughter and everything good Rest and get well soon. Send in love on your special day. And that's the one I'm using today. And then friendship isn't a big thing. It's a million little things. Really sweet set. And then you've got these addition sets here. So you've got this one that will create your corners and borders. You can see the dies there. This one I really like. And I've been adding little embellishments. Flat back pearls on top. It looks really sweet. And then I'm always a sucker for a sentiment die set. They've got this one here, which is your everyday sentiments. And you can see they're nice big sizes. You've got your background die. And then you've got the, the sentiment itself. You've got with love, hello, thanks, happy birthday, sorry, and congrats. There's also a nested set of dies. I don't have those ones, but they will be in the link below. You'll be able to see the full collection. And they're just a nice set of nested dies that will fit perfectly on the A2 size cards. So I'm going to be using the A2 landscape die set, and I'm going to be making a top fold card. So I've cut the main die there. So you'll be able to cut two of these on your letter size cards so like i said two side by side and then that's the height of your 11 inches you've then got your mats and layers here so i've used this fun silver card so that's going to go on top and then i've cut the pink there in the smaller one the paper pad is this one here it's spring is in the air by daisy may design it's just a nice selection of bright colors with different prints in the background so i've got this grid one here and then i've just cut this strip and i've cut the hexagons here and that's what I'm going to stamp my sentiment on. So I'm going to get these stuck down first and then we can do all the decoration. So I've just added that strip on top there as well, just to start creating a bit of a background. So I'm going to use this long one here and I've die cut it, but I've kept all the pieces in the die and I've just popped some double sided tape on the back. But I'm actually now going to use some foam. I think it'd be quite nice to have this slightly raised. So I'm just going to take the double sided tape off the back. And then I've got the Craft Stash thin foam tape here. And I'm just going to sit that over the top. And that will hold all of the pieces in. So the pieces do stay in the die. You can poke them out easily if you would prefer. But if you want to keep the design in there, you can. But you could also then cut it in maybe like a white. Pop all the pieces out of the white strip and stick it over the top. And then you'd have all the pink bits showing through. And then I'm just going to lay this one down right through the centre like so and then that can be lifted on the top and then these bits can all feed underneath so i'm going to heat emboss or i might use pink actually because i've heat embossed on some of my other samples but i think i might use a pink ink for this one just so it does really pop against that silver so i'm going to use the fuchsia quick dry ink by spectra noir pop my stamp down i've already lay, um, lined it up with the shape underneath there but what i like about this this is the creative craft products stamping platform i like that when you close this it's got these springs on the side here so you can you can double check before you commit to stamping that it's in the right place so i really like that you've got that kind of hover function on this and then you push it down so i'm going to get that one all stamped there we go, it's a perfect match. If you've got those Daisy May papers and you've got the quick dry inks, then the fuchsia does work very well. I'm 
And then I'm going to add a little bit of glue in the middle there and just place that one on top. So these create quick, simple cards. I think these are lovely little note cards as well. You could pop a few of these in a, a little gift box together. And then I've taken a mix of dies from this set here. So I've just cut four in the silver card there. And then I've taken the little leaves from the envelope. So I thought it'd be nice to use those. So I'm just going to have a little play around And then what I did with these was just playing around. But if you overlap them like that, you can create like a little flower. So although they're corner details, and then you could add them again. In fact, I might do that. I might use all. I was going to save some for the envelope, but layer that up and then pop a little embellishment in the middle. Can you see that shape? I thought that'd look quite nice just up there maybe. Okay, so I've decided not to put the flower on the card. I'm going to pop that on the envelope, but I've added some little embellishments instead. So there's the finished card. Really nice, little simple design, top fold. And now we're going to make the matching envelope. So in here, like I said at the start, you've got everything you need to decorate it. So you can see how it all looks there. So I've already die cut. I've just started laying out where I wanted everything. You can see there the main die. You'll need a larger die cutting machine for this one. Run that one through and then you've got all your mats and layers so i've got the green card here which i'm going to stick on the front then i've cut two of these pieces which is this die here and i'm not sure which one i'm going to have inside yet probably the pink um although maybe that one on the front kind of like that block color and i have that on the inside i've then cut no that was it we're going to have the pink on the inside we'll have that on the outside i've cut this detail one here which looks really nice with embellishments so i think i'm going to use the same little um sparkly ones that i've used on here to decorate that piece so that's how it's going to kind of look that's going to go on the inside this flower i think i'm going to have in the middle there or on the front and then i've taken the happy birthday die because you don't have to put the person's name if you're hand delivering the card i think it's quite nice to you know have another sentiment so i'm going to have happy birthday there and i've cut the same glitter card there for the background and that's using the happy birthday there you get the little stamp detail i've got that one to go on the top don't lose your little top of your eye there and that one needs to go just there i've used some double-sided foam sheets these are the creative craft products adhesive this is black but you've got the white ones as well and you can just die cut the die and this now is double sided. If I just show you this one, because I'll pop the rest of the video on high speed, but you can take the backing off. So it's a really good way to attach your detailed dies rather than, you know, having to put glue all on the back there. That's now already sticky. And then just focus on getting one of the letters in place. I'm focusing on the B there and then the H at the top. So you just want to get. Nice little border. Once you've got those down, the rest of it will all line up like so. Again, just do the bottom first. Oh, like that. And then you can just maneuver that one a little bit. There we go. So that's all stuck down. And then I can just peel off the top layer. And then with my other die cut, just place it down exactly the same way. Like so. And now you've got a really lovely dimensional topper. You could pop a little toothpick behind that and put them onto little cupcakes or on a birthday cake. I think that looks really sweet. And then, like I said, that one, I'm going to find a little pink embellishment for the middle. Like I said, I might have it on the front or on the back there. With the construction of the envelope, actually, if I do that as well, just before... I whiz through just so that for anybody who's maybe never made an envelope before what you want to do is grab some double-sided tape just fold all of the score lines once you've cut it and then just run a strip again all of the tape I'm using everything is from craft stash I always go right over the edge there because you can just fold that back rather than trying to cut 
the angle if you just stick it right down and then just push that over just a little bit quicker and then again like so and then flip it over fold in your sides and then just roll from the bottom all the way up to the top and now you've got your envelope and then you just add some double-sided tape there or you've got your envelope glues that you can use or you might want to just seal it with a wax seal you don't even have to use any adhesive but that's now all ready for me to decorate Okay, so that's everything finished. I've gone completely bling with the envelope just to show you that if you're hand delivering, how much you can decorate it. Of course, if this is going through the post, then you have inside the die set, these ones here, so you can write the address in there. And then obviously all these embellishments, you would just leave completely flat on the envelope so you can, so that will go through the mail. And again, with the card here, you don't need to add all of the foam that I've done, but that will now flip it over. You can see the detail there. Always do it that way as well, and then you won't catch any of your detail. And then, like I said, I think that would look really nice. Obviously not with the embellishments there, but with a little wax seal on the back. How sweet is that? So I've just got a couple of others that I've made here. I've got this cute little one. And again, I've used that other decorative panel there. And this one's got the stamp friendship isn't a big thing. It's a million little things. And again, I could write their address in the middle there and that one I've done the detail on the back as well just to show you you know different ways but that will all go inside you can see how that all closes up and then this one here we've got the hello this is the top fold or the landscape and then there's the envelope and then you can use that border which is this one here and it will actually cut that shape and then you can stick that panel around on the back there and then again pop that one in and that all closes up. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial from me today. As always, all of the product that I've used will be shared in the description box below. And I'll be back again very soon with more tutorials. Take care. Bye.